This should record him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, this is going to be raw and uncut because I do not have no time to be editing no videos. And plus, I'm recording from my phone. And I'm in the bathroom. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to come and do this video because, you know, your girl ain't been on here doing no videos. And I promise y'all so many damn videos. And I don't order the damn camera and had a big ass damn SD card in there that didn't have the micro SD card in it. And I'm like, how in the hell am I supposed to get this stuff off of here? Because my laptop and everything was being fixed and everything. And I don't have a big port SD port on my tablet or my phone. And I was only able to transfer pictures through Wi-Fi and not the videos. I thought when I ordered that camera that it said that you could transfer pictures and videos through the app onto your other phones and devices but that wasn't the case it was just the pictures but it's all good i got y'all i don't record videos but can't get them off of the sd card so I, i'll figure it out i know it's like little devices that i can do that with so yeah but i wanted to come today and do this video for you guys um about this hair that i ordered from aliexpress this is aliexpress vendor and i'm sure you know that already if you've clicked on this video so i ordered from a company called slow hair um, i did order this hair myself with my own money they did not give me anything for free and i'm not doing you know this review because they asked me or anything like that if they had have asked me i still am gonna give it to you real so um yeah ain't no sugar coating over here so let's get into it i have been i um some of their units on there for a while and um been kind of skeptical about ordering because the the units were really super super cheap so um i'm like okay i went through all of the customer reviews on the site and i'm like okay so it wasn't really anything crazy that would say oh like a red flag or anything about not ordering the hair so i'm like okay let me try it out it was under 70 dollars. it wasn't like a big risk or anything like that because i got a 12 inch unit so yeah so i got the hair maybe like a week before thanksgiving and um i've actually been wearing the hair since thanksgiving day thanksgiving was the first time i wore the hair and i actually have to say that I do like the hair. I do like the quality of the hair. Um, but um, I do have some cons about how the hair was when I received it. Nothing crazy, but we're going to get into that. Okay, so I ordered the hair in a number one and in a 12 inch. And I cut the hair, so it's definitely not a 12 inch anymore. I cut it into like a blunt bob. It may look longer on this side, but my curl is just maybe dropping a little bit because... I don't know, this is just basically on my shoulder, but anyway, anywho. Um, yeah, I ordered it in a 12 inch and a number one. Um, they offered this hair in um different lengths. I think it went up to like a 24 or 26 inch, if I'm not mistaken, maybe a 24, and they offered it in a color number one, a one B, and in a natural. I think I should have got the natural, but you know, your girl that was not trying to dye no hair. Y'all know I'm a sucker for black hair. If you've been watching my channel from way back when, when I used to do a lot of reviews on synthetic units, then you will know that I always order black hair. Like it's very rarely I'll go and get a color unit or wear color hair sometimes. But yeah so i'm like okay i ain't gotta dye this hair i could just bleach my knots pluck it in it you know what i'm saying uh -uh. i got the hair <laughs> the hair first of all was super freaking thin like the the frontal was really really full i absolutely love how the frontal is um but the back of it like the tracks were really 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 thin like they were um you know how the tracks are on, on lace front units that you buy that are pre-made. And they're really, really thin. I'm guessing because they want the hair to re lay really, really flat. So I'm like, you know, it literally looked like it was about a pack of hair in the back of the, this unit. And I'm like, oh, hell no. So I'm thinking, okay, a lot of people were saying it looked really natural looking. But some people's opinion of what looks natural and my opinion of what looks natural 
clearly is not the same. So, and I'm like, I knew off the jump that I was just going to add some more hair to this unit. So, yeah, I like the texture of the hair when I got it. It was like bone straight. Um, it was really, really pretty and really, really soft. So, I did like that. So, I wasn't like really just discouraged that the hair was thin. I just knew that, okay, I spent under $70 and yeah, I basically got what I paid for, but at least the hair is nice. So that was like my first thoughts on it. Um, so I said, okay, let's go ahead and try to bleach the knots on the unit. And I went ahead and um, went through like the bleaching process of bleaching the knots and everything. And I literally left this shit on for like over an hour, which was my fault because I got into doing something else and I kind of miss, you know, um, I didn't, I wasn't time. I didn't turn my timer on. I forgot to turn my timer on because I knew I was doing other things and I didn't want to over process this and have bald spots in my, my frontal. So basically went in, um, did that. I went and washed it out with the shimmer light shampoo and conditioner and I noticed that the knots did not lift at all. Like the color did not change. They were still jet black. So I'm like, okay. Now I used the quick blue. Um, yeah, the quick blue um, bleaching powder. And I used a 40 developer. And like I said, I left that shit on for over an hour. And it did not lift at all. So I'm like, okay. We could just do the um, concealer method. You know what I'm saying? So I blow dried the hair straight. It got bone straight when I blow dried it. It wasn't like any nasty coloring in the water or anything like that. Clearly the hair it has been dyed to a jet black. But it wasn't like no nasty coloring in the water. It wasn't brown. It wasn't black. So whatever they did dye the hair with, they completely made sure that it was free you know and rinsed out of the hair really really well um which i can appreciate and then um it didn't have any weird crazy smell to it so that was something else i could appreciate the texture was really really nice even after washing it like it didn't act crazy or anything it didn't tangle up it did have just a really slight wave to it but like i said i blew dry i blow dried it straight and also, let me let you know, I washed it with the Shimmer Light Shampoo and Conditioner, but I also went again and washed it with the, um, because the only reason why I washed it with the Shimmer Lights was because I wanted to make sure if the, the knots were bleached, I was, you know, if I wasn't just tripping or not. And maybe like, okay, let me see if this will kind of tone it. Maybe I'll see a couple in there. Maybe just needed to stay on longer because it's the number one. But no, that wasn't the case. So anyway, I went with the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Shampoo and Conditioner. And I let the conditioner sit on it for about 40 minutes because I just love when my hair is really, really conditioned. And plus that shampoo and conditioner smells really, really, really nice. So I like that shampoo and conditioner for the hair, the one in the orange bottle. And I also have the one in a green bottle. I think that one is the uh, Grow Strong one. Yes, yeah, the pear one, the Grow Strong. Um, but I usually use the one in an orange bottle. I favor that one more, I guess, because it's just like a damage control one. So um, clearly this hair wasn't damaged because it was brand new. So, yeah, I'm just trying to let you guys know the products that I like to use. Um, but I did that. I blow dried the hair straight. I did wear this hair straight for a while. I did cut it into a blunt bob with some layers over here. And I was wearing it straight for a good while. I've been wearing it ever since Thanksgiving Day. And today is December the 10th. Um, so, yeah, I've been wearing this hair faithfully. I fell asleep in this hair. I wake up. My hair should be looking crazy. Combing out. It's really, really good. I'm not getting, like, a lot of naping up in the back area. Like, today, maybe running the comb through it. I got a couple of snacks, but that's because I had really, really tight curls in the hair. Um, and plus, y'all see what the fuck I'm, I'm combing this shit with. This little bitty ass comb. I should have a fucking wig brush in front of me. But anyway... That's probably why, but usually I'm not getting like any um, tangling up in the back. And I did so more so add the pack of hair that I added up to about this point. I didn't go all the way up because I wanted this to still lay flat. And I'm really, really happy with how it came out. Um, the hair that I added into this unit, since I knew I wasn't going to be able to dye this hair or anything like that, um, 
I just went and used a beauty supply store pack of hair in a number one and I used the Empire, the Sensational Empire straight hair and it blended really, really nicely. You can barely tell where the hair starts and stops at. Um, so yeah, it blended really, really, really well. Um, I will say that the hair straightens really, really nicely. It gets bone fucking straight. Um, when I straighten the hair out or curl it or anything, I use my ion one stroke um, flat irons. I use it for flat ironing the hair and I use it to do these curls. Um, the hair curls really, really, really well. And as you can see, um, the curls hold really nicely. They basically just bounce back into place. I do need to go over this top part right here. But it just, it falls right back into place. I'm going to stand up so you guys can, um, excuse my shower and stuff. See the texture of the hair. I have washed this, like I said, I've been wearing it since Thanksgiving. And it's now December the 10th. So I've been wearing this hair quite a bit. And I have washed it a couple of times. And it basically goes back to this texture each and every time so I'm happy about that being that I spent under $70 for the hair because like I said my initial um, feelings about ordering this hair was kind of iffy because the hair was so so cheap but it's definitely good quality hair like I absolutely love the hair I probably would just maybe order some, hopefully if I order bundles I get the same fucking hair because this was the Brazilian straight so hopefully I get the same hair because I'm going to try to order some hair from them and make my own unit and let you guys know how that works out for me just so you can have like an option like to see if the hair that they put on the wigs is the same that they have which you would think is the same <laughs> hair that they um have in bundles but if they do i would really enjoy this hair i probably would just order it in a natural color and um the frontal and everything in a natural color you know, and I, I would go that route. Like, even if you're interested in buying this unit, I would suggest ordering in the natural color. Because I don't remember seeing under the reviews it saying that people had problems with bleaching and knots or anything. Um, but maybe they, everybody maybe was ordering um, the natural color or 1B and it wasn't hard for them to lift the, the color. So, I think it was just maybe more so on my part ordering the number one so i would have less work to do that they had already dyed the hair and it's no telling you know i don't know what kind of dye they use but this shit is not lifting at all so i'm gonna i'm gonna test it out since the hair is super cheap i'm gonna test it out and get a natural one maybe the same length and try to dye it myself um and see if i can bleach or not then and i'll definitely come back and do a video and let you guys know um if you have any questions definitely feel free to contact me um, about the unit, but all of the details will be in the bottom bar below, as well as the link, the direct, di shit, the direct link to where you can purchase this unit. I did purchase this unit with my own money. I'm not doing a review for this company. I just thought if you guys were looking at purchasing from this company, that um, you will want to hear some information on it. Um, I know I would, and it's always great to see a video as opposed to just looking at the reviews under the company's website. So, yeah. If I haven't mentioned, I'm sure I have. The company's name is Slove Hair, S L O V E Hair, on AliExpress. And all of the information will be in the bottom bar below. Um, yeah, but that's my thoughts on this hair. So, definitely let me know what you think in the bottom bar below um if you've ordered from this company what were your um what was your experience with this company i would definitely love to know and um just put the link to your videos below or just say hey i did a review on this company check me out i got you so um yeah i got some more videos coming for y'all because i have so much fucking clothes from fashion nova it's ridiculous like i literally hide the boxes when they come so i think i have like over two thousand dollars worth of fashion over clothes and i have shit sitting in my car as we speak so yeah i got y'all on some um i don't know if i'm gonna do um 
a try on haul let me know guys do you like try on hauls i know i want to do like try on the clothes and let you guys know how they look on let you guys see how they look on and the quality of them and my opinion on cert on the pieces um but literally i have so much stuff i probably will have to break it up into like maybe three different uh videos so it's not super super long or would you rather me just um show do like an official uh initial video on what i think about the clothes showing you the pieces and then coming back and doing like lookbooks like what would you guys rather see me do because i kind of want to do something different everybody's doing these try on hauls but if that's what you like to see then i'll definitely do that for you guys but like i said i'll just break them up into smaller videos because i have so many things from them so just let me know in the bottom bar below and i got you on that because um i love watching try in hauls and look books and stuff like that so i uh, because I, I like to see how these pieces look especially when you're ordering from like online boutiques and online stores i like to see how the, the quality of the clothes and to see how they look on and how they look on curvy girls because i'm a curvy chick myself and i want to know how the shit looks on so let me know what y'all like to see would y'all rather me do just an initial video showing you the pieces and then look books or do you want to see an actual try on haul and also some lookbooks later. So let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.